In this video, I am going to touch upon a very important concept in the world of machine learning known as DVC, standing for Data Version Control. This helps you to control the versions of your data, models and experiment just like you control the versions of your code through Git. So something similar to Git but working upon data models and experiments. Let's see some details on DVC. So to understand DVC, what we are going to do is we are going to do a small project here. Okay. Um, as you can see, my Visual Studio is open and in Visual Studio, there is no project open now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open a folder and I'm going to go to my desktop and I'm going to basically create a project here for you. Okay. I'm going to call it DVC. So I will just open this. There are no files now in this project DVC. So what I'm going to do first now is I'm going to go to my desktop and I'm going to paste one data here. So I have copied one data from a different source. Let me paste it here. So here there is a data now. So if I click on this data, right, you will see that there is years of experience and salary. There are two columns in this. Basically what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to create a linear regression model and uh, years of expense is my first column, salary is my target column. So I'm going to show you two, three things here. One is how can you track a data change via DVC? And another is how can you track a model change via DVC? And how can you retrieve the previous version of the model? My assumption here is you know basics of Git. So that is my basic assumption that you know how Git works and how Git commit etc works. Based on that, if you do not know, right, go to Unfold Data Science website. There is a very nice course on Git, GitLab, CICD. Do that course. It will give you a lot of knowledge on Git, GitLab, CICD, okay? So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go to Terminal. So let me go to Terminal. And if you don't have DVC installed, you should install DVC first, okay? So I have installed, but if you don't have, right, you can say pip install. DVC like this, it will install DVC for you. But if you have installed, no problem with that. DVC works in conjunction with Git. So first thing that you need to do is you need to run a command called Git init. What Git init does is Git init will enable this registry or this project to be. This is the first step. We are initializing a Git repository basically. So this is the first step to tell to the system that I want to you have a version control on this. Okay. So git init is first command that I'm running. Second command that I'm going to run is basically DVC init. Okay. So as I told you, git is for code version and DVC is for data version control or model version control. So I have initialized git repo. Now I'm initializing DVC as well. So if I enter right, you will see that a DVC will get initialized here and it will start tracking whatever we want to track through DVC. So as you can see here, right, uh, it is giving some uh, knowledge about documentation and things like that. It is saying initialize DVC repository. You can now commit the changes to Git and then we can uh, we can track. Okay. So what, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to simply go here and say that here is my data. You go and track this data. So what I'm saying, hey, DVC, this is my data. So what is my data? Linear, if you see here, right? Regression dot CSV, linear regression data dot CSV. So this is my data. What I'm saying to DVC is just add this data for tracking. Okay. I say enter and DVC will say that this data is being added for tracking. How it will say that? You will see two new files are getting created here. One is called dot DVC. One is called dot DVC ignore. And one is called linear regression data CSV dot DVC. So if I click on this, right, you will see that DVC is storing some information about the data, about this version of the data. So what I'm trying to do now is I'm interested in tracking the version of this data. So I am telling to DVC, hey, DVC, I'm interested in tracking version. Please create the necessary files. DVC has created the necessary files dot DVC and data files on DVC. Okay. 
remember dbc works in similar fashion as git just that we are tracking data here and then if you are familiar with the git concept right you can simply say now add this to git ignore because this particular file right our file the dbc file i do not want to track it using git if you know basics of git right whatever we want to ignore in git commit right that is something we will simply say ignore in git ignore okay so this file will get ignored now dot dbc file so that is just for basic cleanup nothing much and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to commit everything to git okay so what i'm saying here git commit m track data set with dbc so i have committed everything i have committed now so what is happening now is my code any code file now there is no code file but if there is code file here code file will get tracked via git and data file will get tracked via data and uh, dbc let me try to show you some example of what i mean by tracking so what i want to do here is i want to create a script which will change this data so let me create a alter data dot py script and what i want to do in, in this alter data is i have a code written i was doing experimentation for this video actually so in the interest of time i will paste that code here very simple code i am just reading that data i am just saying the years experience column make it two times okay so years of experience is equal to two times years of experience and then write it to csv in the same location so what will happen if it writes to the same location is this file that you see here right if you pay attention here first row is 1498 just pay attention here 1498 so i am doubling this actually in my alter data command if this command runs success if this file runs successfully what will happen is the first row here will be multiplied by 2 and everything else but we are we are just paying attention to the first row so let's go here and try to run alter and what i'm expecting when this runs is it will alter my csv file okay so i am trying to run this now and if it runs successfully right and if i open my csv again you will see that that file is altered so see here previously it was 14 point something now it is 29 point something so first row i'm uh, sorry first column i'm doubling so what i have done now is i have made i have made changes on my data now remember one thing this data is not getting updated anywhere because data is normally huge in size okay you don't want to update upload this data that data everything you don't want to upload somewhere all the versions of the data what dvc tell, tells you is i know what that version was i know what this version is here's the difference here is your old version here is your new version okay just like code so our data has been rewritten but suppose i want to retrieve my old data how can i do that that's the magic of uh, dvc so what i can do is some of these things are um, uncommented so i can comment that as well but uncommitted i mean to say i can commit that as well for example alterdata.py and i can run a command called git checkout okay so if i run this command and what i want to do is i want to move back to my previous version of data so what i have to tell to dvc is give me the previous version of data from previous commit so see here i am saying python m dvc pull double hyphen force so what i am trying to do is i am trying to tell bring my previous version of data if i run this right you will see that it will tell me that there is a difference in the data see collecting fetching building workflow comparing indexes applying changes so it says modified linear regression data because we have modified that so no remote provided and no default remote so forget this you, you can also store that in remote like aws or things like that it says one file modified so now if i see this right you will see that it has gone back to 14.98 okay so this has been reverted back to the previous version now many of you might be thinking this is we are just going from one version to another version what if we have done many changes right what if we have done one after another one after another one after another many changes 
I want to go to let's say 10 changes back. How you can do that is by using something known as git log. You go to git log and see um, which version of data you are interested in. Let's say you have done 10 commits. So first commit time, what was your data? Second commit time, what was your data? Third commit time, what was your data? And suppose you are interested in going to third commit. So what you will do is you will take the commit ID from git logs and just repeat the process what I have done here and you will go back to that data. Okay. So what commands you need to run is very simple. I will just paste here. You can try. For example, if I have to run this right. So let me create a simple text file here. Commands to commands to fetch any version. Okay. Any version. What you can do is you can simply say git log, check out specific version by commit hash. And then if that version is, let's say this one, two, three, pull the corresponding data using DVC pull. You can do this. I am, I'm not showing you intentionally. You can try this yourself and it will pull. Fine. Next thing I want to show you here is suppose if I want to run a model. Okay. I want to run a model and I want to have different versions of model. So how can I do that and how can I retrieve that? So let me go here and create a file called training.py. So what I will do in training.py is I will simply run a Python script. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a Python script, import panda JSPD, sklearn linear regression, same data I'm importing. I'm taking X as years of experience, Y as salary, nothing fancy. Fitting the model and saving the model in pickle object. Very simple to understand. Let me try to run this. And once I do this right, what should happen is a pickle file should get created. So if you see here, the pickle file is created. And in this pickle file, how, what I want to do is, as I told you, we can track our data, our model and experiments, all these things in DVC. So I have to tell to DVC that I want to track any change in model.pkl. So how do I say this? For saying this, right, what I have to do is I have to run the same commands what I ran for uh, telling to DVC that please track my data. Okay. So here I will go and say Python MDBC add model.pkl to my tracking mechanism of DBC. So it will add. So at the moment I do this, you will see model.pkl.dbc. Uh, one new file will get created. And I want you to comment to me what is the meaning of U here and what is the meaning of M here. If you know Git, then you will know what is the meaning of U, what is the meaning of M. Please comment me. I'm waiting for your answers. Okay, when you watch this video, please comment, pause this and comment. So once I do that, right, the same process will repeat. And I will simply go here and I will say git add add. So I'm adding everything to staging and then I'm committing everything to git. Git commit m and I will simply say second commit with model track. This time we are tracking model as well. Fine. Now everything is committed. So if I do git status, you will see that working tree clean. Nothing is nothing to commit. Everything is fine. Now let's go ahead and try to do something with the model so that model changes. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to say why it's salary and X is years of experience, right? So let's say Y is equal to Y divided by 10. Okay, so I'm making a simple change here. Y is equal to Y divided by 10. So I'm changing the target variable and I will say control A and run. So why I'm doing this is I want my model pickle file to change actually. So this model will be different from the previous model, right? So I want this model, uh, basically model to change. So my model would have changed definitely. How will I know that or how will I get the previous model if I want to do that? So very simple. Again, you have to run a simple command called git checkout 
or even even if you see here right training.py changed so it is showing training.py but we don't mind much what we are going to do is we are going to run the same command again i'm going to say python mdbc pull force so what i'm trying to do is i'm trying to pull anything that is being tracked through dbc give me the latest version of this so what my expectation here is the model which is changed system should give me the new model uh, sorry the old model let me see this so as you can see here it is saying applying changes model.pkl this line you can ignore as i told you this is for remote thing one file modified one file modified means what it did is it brought back my previous model fine so what what is your takeaway from this assignment here is just go okay i think i just deleted everything here whatever steps i put here right using that just try to fetch any version of the code okay any version of the model any version of the data and it will be very interesting for you now another thing i want to, you to do is go to google and search for dvc and dvc ml documentation and the documentation is lovely you can learn a lot of things from his, this and you can do some experiments and see how different versions of data and model are working together dvc in conjunction with ml ops framework right works very nicely so i request you to do some of the experiments using that let me know how did you like this video if you want me to create a larger in this space covering more areas of dvc and ml ops i can do that but i want to see that interest coming through comments and likes if that interest comes i'll definitely do that see you all in the next video wherever you are stay safe and take care